I am in Kanchipuram, the birthplace of the gorgeous silk sari and the land of temples. In Kanchipuram, Lord Shiva beds Uma, that is Parvati. Saint Mark and Rhea is a weaver for Devas. For the wedding, he arranged so many saris. So it is very familiar here to buy saris, silk saris in Kanchipuram itself. In a typical Kanjivaram sari, the zari thread used for embroidery is made of at least 40% silver and 0.5% gold. And they can weigh up to a kilo. Which is why it has received a geographical indication tag. The Kanjivaram sari is an auspicious one. And this auspicious association has been kept alive by a man, a national award winner. This is Mr. B. Krishnamurti. He started learning how to weave at the tender age of 15. And now he's a master weaver. He won a national award for his hand-woven Kanjivaram sari. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Kamalam, Kadiri, Mango, Maan, Maile, Annapachi. After a quick sketch, he draws the designs digitally and then the weaving magic begins. But that's not even the most impressive part about our master weaver. 5,015 designs. 5,015 designs are 60 inches with 25 meters. One area, one sample. And he catalogued all these designs as references for anyone interested in handloom. Because of its intricacy of weaving and the labor that goes into it, and three people sit at a loom and work on it, it's no wonder then that the Kanchipuram sari today costs something like over one lakh. Wow! Look at this beautiful sari. It is a painting on the Kanjivaram. How much? 85,000. One lakh sari. Two lakhs. Well, it's crystal clear now, these saris are a work of art and the weavers who make them are no less than artists. The sari has never gone out of style. This garment is truly limitless.